Welcome back, and in this part of the video, we're going to be talking about tabular filters. So these filters apply to the Gantt chart, to the 3D objects table, and to the resources table. So in my Gantt chart, obviously I can right click like any scheduling software, customize columns, and add any parameter or user field that I want. So float, baseline uh, duration, uh, anything that is relevant. I'm not going to do that in that case now. Similarly for resources tab and 3D objects tab. If you click on a column, it sorts by that. If you click again, it sorts the other way. If you click a third time, it doesn't sort. You can do that to any column. Now, if you click on one column and then the next, it only sorts by one at a time when you click. However, if you right click and sort, you can sort, for example, by name ascending and then by start descending. So you can sort by multiple columns at the same time and here we see the two sorting however just when you click it overrides everything and then you can also filter so I can right click custom filter and then say for example uh, let's use the wildcards that we talked about earlier so these are the explanation of wildcards so I'm gonna do matches star uh, steel star and then hit OK. And we only have one activity. What if I go custom filter and change that to framing? So maybe just frame without the E so that frame and framing show. And then we have these activities. And you can do that by multiple columns at the same time. You can right click clear filter. If it's a if it's a value that is a number then you'll have does not equal is greater than less than less than or equal instead of matches contains and everything else so i'm going to hit cancel these also apply to the 3d objects tab and the resources tab you can do those here custom filter clear all filters and that's it for table filters now i want to show something that's really cool for example if i go to navigator and then maybe sort by name first and maybe add a filter that shows uh, matches uh, star f-r-a-m -F star and hit ok and I have this filter and maybe the duration I'm going to drag and drop it before the name I can save that as layout so I'm going to go to navigator layout and create save layout as call this one and then I'm going to go back and clear all filters I'm gonna bring back the duration over here I'm gonna clear all sorting so remove all okay I'm gonna close down a 3d view and I'm gonna make it slightly bigger and then I'm gonna go save layout as maybe also change the view first so change the view and change the position of the focus time so save layout as call that too and now if I go back and open layout it's going to open everything from the first one, even the filter and the fact that direction is before name. And if I go there and open the second layout, it's going to bring the focus time back, the change the 3D view, remove the filtering. So layouts are really important and they go really well with uh, all sorts of filters, 3D and task filters. And the next video will involve a challenge. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.